I have a friend, friend who said, well, I'm going to turn, turn to God, God on my deathbed. deathbed. Friends, that's, that's pretty, pretty risky. risky. Turning, Turning to God, God on your deathbed? deathbed? We don't know. No, we could go around the corner in a minute and get hit by a car and that would be the end of it. Friends, let's turn to God right now while we still have breath in these lungs. While we still have breath in these lungs because the Bible is very clear. Jesus is very clear that we've got to give our lives to him. We've got to follow Jesus in, in this, this life, life now, now there's, there's no, no second chance after, after this life, life. The, the bible says it is appointed, appointed to, to, to men and women to die, die once and then to face the judgment you know that god, god is our god judge god, god is our god judge. judge we have we a have justice, justice system don't, don't we in this world, world. Even, even in this sinful wicked world we have a justice system and we don't want people to get off scot-free we don't want murderers to get off free. We don't want rapists and paedophiles to get off free, do we? We say, no, they need to be punished. They need to be punished for their crimes. Friends, friends, how much more? How much more do you think a holy God needs to punish people for their crimes? People say, well, God, if God was so loving, he would let everybody into heaven. Friends, we wouldn't say that about a judge, would we? We wouldn't say, oh, if that, if that, if that judge was so loving, he'd let everybody off free. The murderer, the paedophile, the rapist, let them go free. What a, what a hateful judge. Friends, nobody would say that. We'd say that's a good judge. A good judge, that is a righteous judge because he has punished the, those people who did those crimes. Friends, in the same way, how much more? How much more do you think that God, who is holier than any worldly judge, would punish those who do evil? Friends, friends, God is a God of love, yes. God sent his only son into the world that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have everlasting life. But the Bible is also clear that God is a God of justice. God is a God of justice. Friends, God was so loving that he sent Jesus. And this year, this, this time of the year, at Christmas time, 2.3 billion people celebrate the good news that Jesus came into the world. Okay, he didn't come on 20, 25th of December. We don't know the exact date, but Jesus came into the world. Jesus came into the world. Why did he come? Because God was a God of love. And he said, I can't leave these people on their own in their sin. I need to do something. Because you know, God created us right at the beginning. You know the story of Adam and Eve, which a lot of people laugh about now because they say, well, we evolved. We came, we came from, from we came, came from, from sludge. sludge. We came from, we came from monkeys. I don't know about you, friends, but I didn't come from a monkey. I'm a little bit more intelligent than that. Well, some people say so anyway. But friends, we came from God. We came from God. God said, "Let there be light," and there was light. You know, those who believe in evolution and atheists, they don't have an answer for how the Big Bang happened. They don't have an answer for it. But they certainly weren't there. Friends, God was there at the beginning of time. He said, let there be light. And he said, let us make man. Let us make man, male and female, in our own image. God made us in his image. That's why we're so beautiful. Do you ever look around and you see how beautiful people are? It's because we're made in the image of God. God said, let us make man in our own image. We are in the image of God. Can you believe that? We're a little bit like God, made in his image. Friends, this is why God sent Jesus Christ to the earth. Because we got corrupted. We got corrupted when we allowed sin to enter our hearts and our lives. And then wickedness came upon this earth. And so, and so God had to do something, and he sent, he sent, he sent Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ, he was born, born into the world, and we, and we see, see him at this time of year on Christmas cards. cards. But friends, it's more than a Christmas card. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ is real. Jesus, Jesus Christ was born. Jesus, Jesus Christ lived on this earth, and he died. He died a tragic death. Friends, it was a tragedy on one side. On the other side, it was the greatest thing that could ever be done because God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, the Bible says, Christ died for us. He died for us. He died for you. He died for me. Friends, we're all sinners. I'm a sinner. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy to announce I'm a sinner. We're all sinners, friends. I bet you sin this morning. Friends, let's come to God. God will deliver us. God will forgive us. We've got, We've got to believe. believe. We've got to believe, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and we, we will be saved. saved. 
we will be saved. It's an absolute certainty, friends, if we call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we will be saved. Jesus said, my peace, my peace I give to you, my peace I leave with you. It's not as the world gives. Friends, the world can't give this peace. Have you seen on the news? Our politicians can't give any peace, can they? Oh my goodness. Who can trust in a politician these days? Who can trust in the politicians? Who can trust in our leaders? Nobody can trust in any leader. Can you trust in Rishi Sunak? No. Nobody can trust in him. Can you trust in the opposition? No. Can we trust in Joe Biden? No. Can we trust in Trump? No. Can we trust in anyone? No, friends. We cannot put our trust in politicians. The Bible says, from whom there is no lasting help. You know, it really doesn't matter, friends, does it? Let's be honest. Whether we vote left or right, there's really no point in voting anymore. It all stays the same. It's all going to rack and ruin. Friends, we have, we have rejected, rejected God. God. Society, Society has rejected, rejected God. God. They, they have rejected, rejected his standards. They have, they have rejected, rejected his morals. His morals. Friends, this is where, where morals, morals come, come from, from, of course. Where do you where think, think we get, get morals, morals from? from? We get we our get morals from our innate, innate nature, nature, which is from God. God. Friends, we, we were born in God's image. That's why we know the difference between right and wrong. We know it's wrong to murder. We don't have to be told, do we? We know it's wrong to murder. We know it's wrong to rape. We don't have to be told, we just know. We just know. Why do we know, friends? Because we have morals inside. Why? Why do we have morals inside? Even the atheist has morals. Even the atheist wants to live a good life. Why? Why does the atheist want to live a good life? Why does the atheist know it's wrong to murder? Because we have morals inside. And why do we have morals inside? Because we are made in the image of our Creator God. We are made in His image. Isn't that amazing? You and I, that's why we're so amazing. When I look at you, when we look at each other, we see God. I see God in us. This is amazing. God in us. Isn't that amazing, amazing friends? But we've got to come back to God because we rejected God. We rejected God. Do we want to be children of the devil or do we want to be children of God? I don't know about you, friends, but I want to be a child of God. I don't want to be a child of the devil. And I know not many people would say I want to be. I know there are Satanists out there and there are wicked people out there who say, yeah, I want to be a child of the devil. But ultimately, friends, most people want to be, they want to be with God. They want to be with God forever. Do you want to be with God forever? Friends, because this life is very, very short. This life is very short, friends. The Bible actually says that we're like flowers of the field that just pass away. Friends, we're all going to die one day. And I know we're all really young at the moment. And we're not thinking about death. But friends, it's going to come to us all. It's going to come to us all. Let's turn. Let's turn our lives to Jesus Christ. Friends, the reason Christ came into the world was to testify to the truth. This is what Jesus said. And he said, all those who are on the side of truth, listen to my voice. Are you listening to the voice of God today, friends? Because if we're not, we're not on the side of truth. We're on the side of falsehood. Friends, what side do we want to be on? Jesus said, broad is the road that leads to destruction and many walk on it. And narrow is the path that leads to eternal life and few walk on it. Friends, are you on the narrow path or are you on the broad path? Friends, let's, let's this December give our lives to God. Let's give our lives to God, friends, because time is running out. Time is running out. I'm absolutely certain of this fact that time is running out. Things will not always be as they are. And there are troubles coming upon the earth that if we do not have faith in God, our hearts will fail through fear. Friends, there is a time coming. There is a storm coming. Can you feel it brewing? Can you feel the storm coming? Do you remember Noah built a boat? Noah built a boat because God said, I'm going to destroy the earth. Friends, there is judgment coming upon this earth because of the wickedness of mankind. Can you feel it? Friends, we cannot go. We cannot continue to live this life doing what we want to do. We've got to turn our lives to God. Are we going to follow God or are we going to follow the devil? Friends, the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. 
He has blinded the minds of unbelievers. Do you know how people are blinded today? They're blinded by the propaganda. They're blinded by that television that sits pride of place in our homes. I know that there are many people here today. As they walk past, they are hearing it. You are hearing the gospel. And you are thinking to yourself, yes, yes. I think I believe this. Friends, if that's you, open your heart. Open the door of your heart and say, I need you in my life, God. Come and deliver me. I need, I need you, you. Friends, friends, let, let this, this Christmas, Christmas time be a time where Christ, Christ the, the Saviour, Saviour, is actually born in our hearts. hearts. Not that it's some, some kind of fictitious festival, festival but, it's but it's something real, real that Jesus, Jesus comes. comes. Jesus, Jesus comes. comes. Jesus, Jesus is here. Jesus, Jesus is here. But you know, Jesus came as a baby the first time. The second time, he will come as a judge. The first time, he came as a Saviour. Second, Second time, time he's coming, coming as a judge, judge. he's coming, coming to, to judge, judge the earth, earth of its wickedness. wickedness. Friends, 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 the, the Bible, Bible says that all have sinned, sinned and all have fallen short of God's standard. standard. I know that I have sinned, I've, I've fallen, fallen short of God's standard. standard. We've, We've all, all done, done it, friends. But, but God, God, in his love, love sent Jesus, Jesus Christ, even though while we were still sinners, can you believe it? While we were still sinners, he died for us. He died for you, he died for me. This is amazing. This is the amazing grace. Amazing grace. Do you know the song? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Friends, without God, we are wretched. We are blind. We are wretched. We are blind without God. Let's open our hearts to Him and then we will see. Then we will see. We will see the power of God in our lives to transform us. Friends, he will help you. He will help you. He will deliver you so that you can forgive those who have hurt you. So that you can forgive those who have been horrible to you. Friends, I know so many of us have had people accuse us that have been unkind to us and have done terrible things. Maybe you've had a, a husband that committed adultery and it destroyed your life. Friends, God wants to help you to forgive that person so that it doesn't destroy your life so that you can be healed. This is the central theme of the gospel of Jesus Christ. He came into the world to give us the power to forgive, to be forgiven of our sin, and to have the power to forgive those who have hurt us. Friends, let's give our lives to Jesus today. Let's open the door of our hearts. Let's open the door of our hearts. He's here for you.